Hello. Welcome to uh, Linda's Floss Tube. Welcome to Linda's 144 Hobbies. And this is episode 19. Yeah. So, as I said, I'm Linda. Uh, I live in Sweden, the southwest of Sweden. I live in a three-room apartment with my husband, daughter, and two adopted dogs from Spain. And they're not big dogs. Nope. And my absolute favorite hobby is cross-stitching. Um, and at the moment, I'm like all over cross-stitching. I like, I'm like, I can't get enough, you know? Um, so, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's very relaxing. And uh, I have something to look forward to during the day at work. Uh, this week, you were getting two episodes of Floss 2 because um, last weekend I was working. So I didn't film my Floss Tube until Monday and I think it took so long to edit. So I guess it didn't come out until Tuesday. So, but today is Saturday, the 8th of August, and uh, I think it's going to be a short one. So, uh, let's start with comments and questions, and uh, that's going to go pretty fast, because there were no questions, and the comments were few and not so, like, specific. Some of you enjoyed the beginning of my last video, like the intro, and I guess that's um, was uh, like pointed towards uh, the dogs. I was filming, or it was my daughter who filmed the dog when uh, when we were out walking them, and all of a sudden, uh, Billy, the first one, he uh, he just stopped and he was like sniffing around and all crazy. So he had found uh, some blueberries and. Then the other dog, she was like, oh, I think I'm going to sniff around too. And she found some blueberries as well. So they like to do that. And, it's, and also the raspberry bushes, they like to sniff them up and, and pick the berries themselves. So that's kind of cute. Uh, but I have to say all comments, I love them. I enjoy reading them. And everything doesn't have to be uh, questions or suggestions. So I enjoy the other comments just as much. And especially sharing comments, you know, sharing what you're doing or, yeah, something you like or, yeah, anything. I, I like that interaction. And I really try to answer all comments. Sometimes I miss some. I don't know why that happens, but I really try to, you know, keep me updated. And let's move along to finishes, which I have none. So that was fast. <laughs> so we're going straight into whips and I have four whips and I think I've had four wh whips for some time to show. And as much as I enjoy stitching on all the things, uh, I am like thinking if I just had two project projects, um, I would get a lot more uh, progress. So it's sad that I can't, you know, narrow it down a little bit. But on the other other hand, I really want to stitch all the things. And all of a sudden, when I'm stitching, I'm like, I'm, I'm longing back to my heaven and earth. And at that moment, I'm like, oh, oh I, I want to stitch that again. And, and then I'm thinking, well, you're just going to get a couple of hundred stitches this week if you do that. I mean, that's no progress to show. And then, you know, I'm like, well, every stitch is a progress. And it's all about 
the stitching, it's the enjoyment of stitching. So yeah, uh, so it, it's difficult to stick to the mirrors and the samplers because it's so difficult to explain the feelings I have towards <laughs> heaven and earth. I, uh, yeah, you know, 25 count stitching, a 10 by 10 grid, parking, uh, you know, that is my happy place. I have figured that out that that's, I don't have to think. I don't have to concentrate and, you know, with the pattern keeper, I mean, come on, it's, yeah, that's my happy place, but I want to stitch all the things. So I have stitched on some of the things. Um, I have a little notepad here to just keep track on what I'm supposed to say. Um, so we're going to start, start with my long dog. And I think I said in my last um, episode that I was going to stitch like an hour or, or two on it, but I actually spent an evening after work stitching on it. So maybe three hours, something. Uh, and I'm really, I'm really enjoying my long dog. I am for sure. Um, It darks it darkens up a little bit when I get closer to the camera. So I stitched. No, I stitched this part, right? Yeah. And then I'm thinking, what did that take only three hours? But it did. So now I'm really trying to. I think I said that all the birds are going to be the darker solid color. And all the other animals or people is going to be like the more um, blending solid uh, color. But watching everyone's uh, progress uh, on YouTube, I think most of you guys out there are stitching the so all the animals in the solid color. And it looks pretty, pretty nice. And they stand out very nicely. And as you can see, I've stitched this rabbit here. And there's two rabbits down here in, okay, the variegated thread is called um, Brick Red. And the solid color I'm using for those three animals are called um, Brick. And the birds are stitched with a, a, a darker, yeah, another kind of red color. I never seem to write down the name of it, but if you want to know, uh, let me know and I will just get the information. Um, but I'm actually considering um, frogging them and um, restitching them with a darker color. I think. I will like that more. Yeah, so I might wait to stitch the animals. I'm not sure. Let me know. What do you guys think? Should I like keep the birds, this dark one and the rest of the animals? The other solid color? Yeah. But it's very nice, enjoyable. Um, what I find hard with these kinds of patterns is how to trace which way I'm going to stitch. And that annoys me sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why, but you know, I don't have to switch colors or anything really. So I don't know why. And my long dog is stitched on even weave 32 count and I'm using sulky threads, one variegated, and then I have two solid colors. And it's Handwork Maniac who came up with the idea. So that's that. Um, the next one is my Mira. My beautiful Mira Bilia. Yeah. Oh. 
I mean, it's so beautiful. And because I started a Hands Across the Sea sampler, I haven't stitched that much on my mirror this time, but I think I filled in this part here and I started with the colors out here. So I have done a little bit, I think. Um, so it's quite okay. I'm not sure. I think I stitched this last week. Yeah, um, but it's very nice. It's stitched on a 32 count and it has like um, a pale greenish color to it. And it's, it's the fabric the pattern calls for. And it's portrait of Veronica. So I love the Mirabilia's and I have just, <laughs> Oh my God, I've just, you know, discovered lavender and lace. And um, I'm doomed, I'm doomed. I need help. Um, I, I looked at them, uh, I, <sighs> I saw a, a floss tube where there was a lady who had stitched lavender and lace. It must have been, it was the Globetrotter. Yeah, I um, I saw the interview from an um, Aussie stitcher. No, Sammy, Sammy's, Sammy's stitching. She's have, she has uh, some in interviews and why I, I went to that channel, that floss tube from the beginning is because she had interviewed Just Keep Stitching. Uh, yeah, Steph and Pam. And, and they told us, you know, go over and see the interview. And it was such a nice interview. And I saw that she had interviewed other people. So I think the last interview she has done, I think it's the last one. She interviews the Globe Trotter Stitcher. The globe trotting stitcher oh i'm so bad with names um so i started watching her earlier episodes and she showed the autumn uh the celtic autumn from lavender and lace and i was like haven't i seen that name somewhere so i went to hawkins hobbies and i think that's where i've seen them before and they had those ladies there and I was like, yeah, yeah, hmm, like that. And, but sometimes they look so much better when they're stitched up, right? So I started Googling and I shouldn't have done that because then I found out that there is so many, <laughs> so many angels and ladies and Victorian style dresses. Oh my God. Yeah. So we'll see what future haul will bring. <laughs> yeah, but I love the mirror. I really love the mirror. Uh, and I'm getting to a point where I have collected like the mirror that I really, really want to stitch. Uh, there's just a few more and I'm kind of slowing it down a little bit. So hopefully they don't get out of print. Um, so that's Mira. Um, and then I started my first Hands Across the Sea sampler on 40 count. That's the first time I have stitched on 40 count and I'm using, um, oh, very um so it did oh hello <laughs> i cannot remember the names oh i said hello i should i should start singing the song hello for you guys yep like i did last time au revoir alger threads well i'm using the silk threads and 
I got the materials Monday. So I showed you the hole uh, on my other floss tube. And I was like, I, I was off Monday. So I was like, I need to start the sampler today. Uh, so I did, and I think I spent two, two evenings or two and a half evenings stitching up. I wanted to get the border around because I know that if it doesn't stick, no, if it doesn't, doesn't meet up, you need to like tear it up and start over. So I was very eager to get that and also to get like um, a view of how big the small treasure is. And it is called Jane Hearth, 1868. And I have it on my scroll frames. And uh, I'm using my Omnic Omnic frame, which I don't like the Omnic frame if I don't have enough fabric to uh, roll around the bar or the rod, the rod. Um, so this is my progress. So the border isn't finished, but I mean, the, the line going all the way around is done and correct. And then I was very eager to, to start the small uh, berries and leaves. And I'm like starting and ending with pin stitches from the front. So I will really try super hard not to, um, to carry any threads and uh, I want the back to be neat. I want to try. So this is the back. So that looks pretty nice, I think. So another kind of stitching, um, which is very exciting. And it's so nice to, yeah, to to stitch uh, something that is reproduced from, you know, so long ago, like a couple of hundreds, no, not a couple of hundreds, 150 years back. So that's really nice. And the thing is with the rods, which I don't like, is that the space in this spring or whatever you call it here is too it's too big actually so when you start tensioning the rods on the side if you haven't like um gotten fabric around the rod like this it's gonna lose the tension So someone told me to, you know, fold like the fabric, this fold it over like this, you know, to make a, like a channel or canal st stitches. So this rod will fit in that and then you can fit it into the, to the big rod. And then that will hold the tension. And I have done that on my mirrors and that works fine. But then someone told me, no, don't, you don't have to sew. Uh, I don't do that. I put some fabric between. And so I did, but when I tension it, like this, when the fabric is like this, or just half, like, you know, you don't have any fabric all the way around like this. No, it, it, it didn't hold the tension. So, um, I'm not happy about it. So I'm very, I've heard 
I, I'm sorry, but this this is just my experience. So if I if I sew the canal, canal I, I mean I can just leave extra, you know, fabric around for that to do that, and then it's fine. But sometimes you don't have that much fabric, and you can't, you know, um, get the fabric around the rod and. Uh, then it's not holding. The, so, so I don't know. I even tried to put this uh, anti-glide thin rubbery stuff and that was too thick. So it, that didn't work. Otherwise, I think that would be the answer. Uh, so I like the rods and I don't. So it's very mixed feelings. My, I think I might try to order another millennium frame and just see how long it actually takes to get them. Yeah. So that was Hands Across the Sea, Jane Hearth on 40 count with silk threads. Uh, it's the, the, the Dalger. I only remember the end of the name. Um, so that's that. And last floss tube. I didn't spin the wheel. And um, uh, I've started spinning the wheel when it comes to heaven and earth designs because I have so many I can't choose. And just to get, you know, a little bit of variation, a little bit of fun. Um, I have started spinning the wheel. Uh, but last time I didn't because I made the floss tube Monday and then I usually spin the wheel Saturday. Um, so I just I just made a new start. So I have been stitching on the Fantastic Voyage Supersized and it's with regular colors. Um, and that has been really enjoyable as I said it's been I mean it's on 25 count one over one and I stitch 10 by 10 grids at a time and that's my happy place and I'm so much enjoying it really and it looks so cool seriously I mean this is my progress I have put in 1500 uh, stitches Um, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. Ah, I love it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with the, you know, with the stair diagonal stitching or if I should try the real diagonal stitching. Um, I really want to learn and, and, you know, master the diagonal stitching, uh, because, you know, I don't mind parking at all, but it, it is a lot of threads and I don't know, hopefully, uh, they say that with diagonal stitching, there is less part threads. So I might, you know, I might do that, but this was nice. And I 1,500 stitches in one week and I've stitched on the other three projects as well. So I think this is a good project and I need to show you I need to show you how it looks on pattern keeper because those are cool um, let's see so I'm going to show you <laughs> the whole area. So this is like the whole, uh, oh, that's going to kind of, maybe I will try to film the screen and maybe it will be easier for you to see. So this is just widening out. I'm sorry, but that's a lot of stitching and you can see up in the corner up here. <laughs> that's what I've been stitching here. But I'm going to zoom in a little bit. A 
look so it i mean pattern keeper it doesn't look as cool on camera as it does um because if i do zoom in too much it's gonna get a little bit pixelated but it's so cool i love it i love pattern keeper and at the moment i'm watching um uh, country stitchers i love their show um they know so much it's so informative um and with all the gadgets and stuff yeah it's a very nice uh, floss tube so that's my project uh, pr uh, progress yeah <laughs> so and i'm stitching it as i said on 25 count i'm using this grayish L even weave and I've gridded the fabric with some fish line and it works perfect and I'm this is I love this fabric I love it um, it's so much smoother and softer than the pre-gridded uh, fabric and I'm not using a pillowcase for this one I'm just laying it out there And the coolest thing that I purchased a while ago is the Floss, floss Buddy from Bags Plus on Etsy. And I have this with all, it's a 90 pocket buddy. And I have all the 90 colors for the Fantastic Voyage. And it's the best investment I have ever made. I find it a bit, it was a bit expensive. But I don't know how to sew it myself. So for my new heaven and earth that it's coming, the Deliosi, Deli, Deliciosa, Deliciosa. Yeah, I need to get one more of these. So that's that. That's the whips, boys and girls. I don't know why I said that. Never mind. Um. So I'm like, I'm feeling a little bit, I would like to continue with the Fantastic Voyage because it has been so relaxing and I feel a little bit eager to go, get back to the Once Upon a Fairy Tale and stitch a couple of more grids. But I have seriously been waiting for the wheel. It's almost like Christmas, you know. Um, so I'm going to spin the wheel and I will stitch whatever it shows, unless I'm, if it, if it, if it picks Midnight Watcher or the Resistance Training, which I've already worked on, um, uh, and those are not going to be whips. I will include in the whip go for 2021 if they have a whip go. So if the wheel chooses them. Yeah, maybe Midnight Watcher, but not the resistance training. I will just, I will not stitch black background again for a while. So with that said, let's spin that wheel. Okay, so let's bring out the wheel. That's my daughter sending me TikToks. Yeah, and I'm working on a, a Mirabilia wheel because I'm, I'm thinking about maybe starting some more. But now we're, it's, it's the head, it's the head wheel. So one, two, three, let's go. My grandmaster. Oh, I'm so happy. I don't have to, I don't have to run out and get it because I already have it here on scroll frames. It's on my big, my big scroll frame. Oh my God. Let's move the coffee cup. Um, it's a super sized and it's max colors. 
and I'm extreme cross country stitching this. So I have finished all the white, all the 3865. And there was quite a lot of those. And since it's white, I'm pretty sure you're, it's gonna be difficult to see because I can hardly see it myself. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm so happy. So I know I'm gonna start like with a light blue, 3756, I think it is, to start. I think it, it's lining. <laughs> so long. Oh my God. I don't know. How am I going to do this? Um, so it's gonna start lining, you know, out all the white parts. So I'm hoping that it will show a little bit more. <laughs> it's a white out people. It's a white out. Now I need to scroll it down to see what's happening on the screen. Oh yeah. You can see the face. Yes. And so, I mean, okay, I will show you. So that, 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 that's the head and the neck. And we go down to like the birds he's holding in his hands and his hands. And then there is a little bit more white further down, but not so much. Um, I'm very, very, very tempted to kind of start I know I'm extreme cross country stitching this, but I'm so tempted, you know, to to stitch. He has, I think he has three birds on top of his head. I will throw in a picture here. So uh, you'll see how it looks and, and his hat. I'm very um, curious, you know, to, to start that. Um, and then, you know, all his clothing could be extreme cross-country stitch but then i'm thinking maybe you're not allowed to call it extreme cross-country stitching so then i'm like mm, maybe i should just stick to you know stitching it that way so it's a hu huge piece and the thing is that there isn't any background so at some point i was thinking maybe i should take like a light blue and just do like tent stitching all through the back but then I'm like why should I put myself through that <laughs> so I guess it's not a full coverage piece even though it's it's an it's a heaven and earth so oh this is starting today yeah and yeah, as you saw, it's the pre-gridded uh, stuff, the easy, easy guide, 25 count. And I have uh, a thread pack for that from Heaven and Earth. It's the very, very nice thread pack and also very costly thread pack. So that's like the first plan of next week. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes, because I'm going to start right away. I might. No, maybe I'm going to stitch uh, on my mirror. So I might kind of finish up a little bit around her dress. Yeah, maybe for the rest of the evening. And then I'll start on my grandmaster. And then I'm going to spend at least one evening on my hats sampler like oh my hands across the sea sampler and i think i will narrow it down to those three um projects this week um if i feel the long dog calling for me i will put in an hour or so as i said the last time um so i have work this coming week and then the week after I'm actually off work again because my daughter is getting back to school 
and um, I think it's important to uh, be there kind of the first week and make sure that, you know, she gets up in the morning, she catches the bus in time and they get their uh, uniform. So to make sure that everything is all set for the coming days and, you know, be there when she gets home. Um, and I told her it's the last, it's the last time I'm doing this because now she's getting, she's getting big. Um, she's starting seventh grade. So I'm sure that uh, next year she'll be able to handle all that herself. She would be able to this year too as well, but yeah, I want to support her. So that's when I'm off. So not this coming week, but the week after I'm expecting to get quite a lot of stitching done. Yes. Um, so those are the plans. And I'm getting very, very curious to try to make my own project bags without the vinyl. Um, I have no idea how you stitch something like that, but I looked at um, Becca's uh, stitching, uh, Becca from Sweden. Uh, she had stitched some of her own and they looked so nice and there were there was no vinyl uh, in her project bag and I don't feel the need to have that so yeah and I have such a nice sewing machine so maybe and I have so much fabric because I was into quilting the other year so I have so much nice fabric to use yeah oh and imagine doing a, a patchworked project bag mm, nice so let's try to finish this up with a little tiny bit of haul there are stuff coming in to the country from other countries so it's going slowly but it's coming and my birthday to myself my birthday present to myself uh, isn't gonna get her get here by Thursday my birthday is on the 13th um, but traditional stitches has sent out most of my stuff that I ordered it's like almost everything except the fabric so I can't start anything unfortunately but it will be very nice to get the charts to look at and all the flaws and stuff yeah but it's on its way and so anyway, I had ordered two more Mirabilia packs from Hawkins Hobbies and they're just awesome, 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 awesome. I love that place. And it's of course the Miss Dancing Flower. And I ordered the pack without fabric. And I did that because I'm in the fabric of the month uh, from Crafty Kitten. And I'm like, either I will use those fabrics because that was the thought of the fabric of the month, or I will just use the fabric viewer and pick some, um, some other fabric for it. So these are the threads beautiful col colors this, these are the dmc threads very nice and they have some of the new colors as well and then we have some oh, i have such a hard time to say this <clears throat> the water lilies threads carry on collection and beautiful color oh my god look at that maybe i don't i should i should go get a white board for this uh it is uh to kill a sunrise all right
very nice so that's the specialty thread and then we have the embellishment pack mm, all the blings beautiful are are there any treasures yeah two different treasures oh my god look at that look at this color oh it's my favorite color yes and the pattern Oh, she's beautiful. I want her on a red, um, on a red back background. I think uh, one of um, uh, Bestitch Me fabrics. She has some nice red fabric there. Yeah, and I bought two of her fabrics on fight night a long time ago and I don't have a tracking number I think I don't think so no so I have no idea where it is anywho I have ordered um, the package for mermaids of the deep blue you know I don't like mermaids right this is my fourth Mirabilia Mermaid. And there's two in um, Mermaids of the Deep Blue. So actually I have like four mermaids now and I don't like mermaids. I don't like them at all. <laughs> so I, I already had the pattern. So I just got the, the pack and the kit with uh, excluding the chart jesus come on uh but what made me most happy was as i said i don't like mermaids but these are actually how can i say they're not the first mermaids that actually caught my eyes because it's the other but when I have seen this one, I will throw up a picture here because I don't want to dig out the pattern. I should have done that before I started filming. But it's the fabric that has always caught my eye. And I found it very beautiful. And when I decided, well, let's go look at the kit, you know, and maybe just order it. Then I saw that that fabric is discontinued and they have replaced it with another fabric and I've tried finding pictures on it and I would I've been like no it's not the same thing but then I found something on uh, Fiberlicious which was like an ombre um, fabric so I thought well that is nice I could do that so let's just order the kit with the fabric to see if it is that bad and then they tell me from Hawkins Hobbies and I need to email them that yes um, we can help you with the kit as a matter of fact I think because I'm so bad at names I think I actually have a piece left of the cold for fabric. The Amsterdam blue linen. Tell me, is that the, the fabric that it's called for? I need to look it up. And it's like... I love it. Mm. It is so beautiful. Oh my God. And it looks a bit pale gray, but it's not. It's like a deep blue petrol. Oh, 
I cannot wait to start the Mermaids of the Deep Blue. Love it. Amsterdam Blue Linen. Maybe that is the new fabric for it. Maybe. Whoops. I will look it up. Oh. Oh. Look at all the cranics. Uh-oh. <laughs> How do you do with cranics, really? Do you pull, do you stitch it with the whole strand or are there like six strands of threads in it or how does it work? It's going to be a lot of bling bling in this. Subtle, nice colors. Oh, I can't wait to do a floss, uh, to floss toss on the fabric. Oh my God. Look at all these beads. You can't see it on that side. There's, there was some red beads there. Look at that. So this is not the embellishment pack. These are loose, you know, not loose beads, but I think it was out of stock. So I asked them if they would help me. And we have two treasures. And Hawkins hobbies are so nice. And they say, of course, we're going to help you. Now, I'm like, where's my phone? <laughs> it's there. <laughs> it was like uh, the other week. Oh my God. Uh, I think I was having one of those days at work. Horrible day. And I was driving home and I drove into the parking lot and I looked at the our parking space and there was no car. And I was thinking, hmm. I wonder where my husband and Mina, my daughter, has gone. And then it strikes me, well, they're home because you're in the bloody car and you're supposed to park it there, you know? And I'm like, oh, yeah, one of those days. Now I need to look for the pattern. Bear with me, please. Um. Uh, let's see. Do I have them up? Keldicum. And deep blue. Let's search. And there's the mermaids. So this is um, the picture of the deep blue mermaids and it's all flashing out. Yeah, so you can see. The color, let's see, the, mm, the fabric, no, it's actually the new fabric, but I loved it. Now I made a little bit of fool of myself, but maybe that's what she meant, that she had a piece of fabric left, but not all the other things maybe. So the, fa the, the chart or the design is called for twilight blue linen and that's, that's like, this one, which I really, really want. So they replace it with the Amsterdam blue. But that looks pretty nice as well. So I think it's going to be awesome. I'm not going to change the fabric. Nope. Yeah. So those are the haul. That's all the haul I have. And I don't want to make this longer than it is. And I want to go stitch my ma grandmaster. I'm like, I just need to go stitching. I need to go enjoy my Saturday. 
And uh, I hope you go enjoy your Saturday as well and the rest of the week. Uh, yeah, or weekend. Uh, so, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, you know where to leave them. And if you're not subscribing already, don't forget, forget to hit that subscribe button, which I have such a problem saying, so I should stop saying it. And uh, you will see me next Saturday, hopefully. I will try to do it on Saturdays, but life is life and you never know what's happening. And what else? Um, keep your distances, watch your hands and um, not watch, wash your hands. Um, stay home if you have any symptoms. Um, yeah, you know, for those of you who has to use uh, the mouth thing, uh, do that. And uh, stay safe, take care. Uh, yeah, have some happy stitching this week. Bye.